Hi guys, uh, previous video, I mean the before one, I made a Pac-Man but it has no sound. So that's because I don't have a sound, I mean an audio system such as microphone that time. And now I'm gonna try to remake it and this is the result. Alright, might be not the same like before but I hope that that would do actually. It's very simple. So let's begin. Okay, so here we are, the power of the default cube, and you don't have to follow this one, what I'm doing right now, uh, where is it, where is the, oh, there you are, screen cascade, okay, so now, I, I click, and you see, I click there, and I press S, and you know what I, I press, okay, so, let's begin, so first, I don't want anything over here, so I'm just gonna press A, and press delete okay so i don't want any on the screen here yeah? it might be distracting okay so now press one to go to front view shift a to add uh to make the the, the mr pacman himself or herself and i don't know it surf perhaps i'm gonna use a uv sphere okay so it's easier to make, just use a uv sphere okay so here we are we got that one now the one that we don't need is 45 degree of this that's what we don't need so i'm gonna go to here so you know where i press this one okay the the wireframe mode and press tab to edit so now you can edit now press select okay i just select like that okay make sure this one is where is it this is the middle now i'm gonna select over here and make it like that okay oh the, but that's way too much supposed to be over the cursor here just like that and you got something like that sometimes it can be a little bit tricky when you go when you uh, box select it might be end up well like that a little bit too much and of course that that so there we go we have a perfect one over there press delete delete those face okay not the vertices must be the face all right now i'm gonna go back to solid mode and we got something like that see now you have the basic shape of a pac-man all right so i just gonna go very simple here no need to go super hard if you want then that's up to you okay so i'm gonna go to here i mean this one of oh, edge select make sure i press here to go edge select select the edge over here or you can just do like that but if you select it all of it like that it won't work let me see. what i'm saying is if i press f that's not the result you want okay can you see that that is what we don't want okay we don't want this one so i'm gonna close that that i'm just gonna make this one first select that one first this one and press f to fill all right just like that and now edge select make sure an edge select just select the edge over here the one that you made the new one you make and press f to fill just press f okay f f f f f f f f see just like that same as the bottom here okay i select that one f f f f f f f just like that okay now that's the pac-man that we wanted what we always wanted or maybe yeah yeah whatever <laughs> so i'm gonna shade smooth that thing okay so that's not what we want so I'll go to here normal and all this mode okay you can see my cursor here right go to here okay the this one object properties select normal and enable the all this mode see just like that now you have that basic shape of a pac-man I mean, simple model of a Pac-Man. So I'm gonna press one. Make sure I'm, I think I'm gonna rotate this one a little bit, just like that. Maybe this one. That I would do. So now I'm gonna make the something for it to eat. Let's just say energy ball. I don't know. So I'm gonna make a new one. Uh, UV sphere. Z to the Z 
scale just a little bit over there scale okay let's hope it's not too small so i'm gonna shade smooth that thing if you need to duplicate if you want to duplicate then duplicate but i prefer use the array That's why i use the array because i want everything to be unison okay move that a little bit there that will do three would do all right so i'm gonna shift the oh no no need four would do okay uh control and a make sure your cursor is over here okay but i'm not gonna press control a just go here okay go here the arrow and hit apply and you should got something like that okay and now i'm gonna separate all of them first right click uh first i'm gonna go to edit mode but you don't have to do that just select one one of this thing or you can just go like that and press l so it's automatically select everything that's uh, that's uh, in the mesh okay and i'm gonna scale that thing this is gonna be the big one all right just like that so now we're done with the model and now we're gonna paint them not paint shading if i'm gonna paint i'm gonna you i'm gonna turn on my wacom here my display save it but i'm not gonna use that now it's been a while all right first we're gonna paint the energy ball not paint shading the energy ball not paint maybe it's the same so it's just gonna be plain something like that would do the color is not the same but whatever i think i'm gonna scale it to y Oh, never mind that. That would do. Reduce the specular and the roughness. But you know what? I'm gonna up the specular. A little bit more shine won't kill them. And a little bit more shine there as well. And the main character here is the Pac Man. Select that one. That's new. And what color you want for them? Blue, green, red. Well, I never saw them in green, red, or blue mostly a uh, yellowish like that well almost like that this is spec i mean up the specular not reduce the specular sorry not the metal with the roughness there we do so there it is guys just a simple pac-man there but maybe you might say white or yellow how oh, what what about the mouth well for the mouth yes again okay select select everything here this one let's start with this one this would do this this okay select that one make sure select all those parts okay the mouth part just like that okay once you select those all don't click anywhere okay go to here slot add a new one press new this now this is a new color but it's not uh it's still a one color you need to assign this okay so i'm gonna press the slot make sure it's this one the new one okay not this one this is the old one this is the previous one okay you must select this one must be in hit this one and hit assign so you should do something like that we have assigned both um uh, one one object mo one model with uh, with two different colors okay now i'm gonna go to material no it's good material you are in this material now so number out well it's not white not supposed to be white maybe a little bit pinkish reddish like that maybe red would do oh uh, yeah i think red looks cool oh look at that you have a automatically hot shape hmm, mind games hey eh? <laughs> okay so oh actually looks good yeah so again same as the one, the one, this one, but it's up to you if you want to adjust them. Okay, let's, so let's just say I don't want to adjust this again. I mean, I did the one before, so it's easy. Just delete. 
okay it's gone it's got black because well that's why it is it has no material so i'm gonna back to here so make sure select this one not this one this one only make sure it's selected Control c go to material back here and press Control v once you copy it's copy and paste okay so just go to here oh don't worry this you can adjust this one because these are different now because it's already been assigned it's just we we just take the color right all right just like that would we'll do now let's back to here shift a to add a plane you don't have to follow this one i'm gonna be quick a little bit quick all right uh what's this one let's go all right this is on ev now oh i still saw a little bit down there okay you don't have to follow this one again now it has no light so i need light so i'm gonna add the light point light or sun or spot area light would do Let's scale that to maybe 500 way too bright but that's fine up the size so the shadow will be smoother g to the x rotate that to the y shift to duplicate move that to the x rotate that 180 degree maybe rotate that to the y a little bit more g to the x rotate to the y now when it comes to model like this do not afraid don't afraid about adding more light okay doesn't mean you're i mean in great danger if you add more lights to it okay so the y rotate that to the z shift the again oops to the y maybe some maybe some might think that that's way too many lights but that is actually fine too many lights is fine as long as you get it correct okay i mean if you know what you're doing now i'm gonna go back to circle let's see what happened so here we are that's the pac-man over there way too bright because i i up the specta specular and i decrease the roughness into almost a glass shape i mean glass looking okay so yeah that's how i make a simple model of pac-man the same one that same the one that i did before maybe this one is still a little bit different because well i don't remember most of them okay so that's how to make a pac-man and happy blintering bye bye now